What up, YouTube? Matt Gillette with Gillette Ranch. It's been a while. I uh, got sick, was uh, got COVID, was in the hospital, and was feeling bad for a few weeks. But I'm back at the ranch doing some work finally, feeling better. The uh, Check out this pond real quick. Lots of minnows and lots of tadpoles still. Look at them all. Most of those are uh, uh, minnows right there. You see the, some baby frogs. But tons of minnows. Pond's looking pretty good. I, uh, man, what is it? Been about a month, I guess I treated it with beneficial bacteria, muck away, and uh, some eco boost. Looking pretty good. Uh, earlier I was fishing with some uh, chicken liver. You see all the minnows. Good to see. Fishing with chicken liver, caught a, a copper nose. Uh, Sunfish caught a, a bass and a catfish on a uh, chicken liver. Man, still need to trim that down. Ponds come up uh, about a foot from the rain we've had. See the little minnows, maybe. Earlier, I was fishing and uh, the turtles would not stop eating that uh, chicken liver. So I had to uh, take care of about 14 turtles. Then uh, I haven't fished since, it spooked them all. But, uh, how many times I can say, but, uh, <clears throat> I cleaned up around the, uh, tractor implements. Dad's mowing. Then I cleaned up at the front gate. You see me looking pretty nice where we put dirt in front of the cabin because it's pretty tall. Still need to add some more and grade it, but, uh, it's all settled out. Hunting cabin there. Fishing cabin. I did. I'm sorry. I'm not talking to you, Siri. I spread out why this, uh. I didn't till it in or rake it in, but I threw out, made a food plot from over there all through here. I put out uh, radishes, wheat, rye, oats, and I think it's peas. Some type of peas. Just different types of radishes. That thing is loaded with minnows. I need to trim all this stuff before it seeds. I usually spray it. But you can see the oat seeds. Probably should have raked them in. But the pond's looking good. Catfish right there on the edge. Another cat just came up. From the drought and the rain, you can see what it did to our fence. The, uh, this type of fence isn't all what it's said to be. These vinyl, made out of vinyl windows, vinyl windows, recycled windows. So we're gonna have to come through and everywhere the end is, where there's a gate there and gate there, we'll have to put some H braces in, put a brace here to tie it back to, before we can pull it tight. So I have to put in about eight H braces to pull it up. This fence is hot. Eventually we'll hook it up to the power poles. Dad mowed over here. This uh, two and a half acres over there where the food plot is. Or I planted a food plot over there too, but the hogs are hitting it every day, but they're small hogs. I had the barrel uh, standing up straight. There's also a salt block. They've been going to town on it, licking it. There wasn't any cow prints, but there's tons of hogs. They're not big enough to knock the barrel over, so I knocked the barrel over for them and rolled it around. They're all, uh, yeah, there's no big hog tracks, so they're all small. Then, uh, what else? Yeah, we're just mowing the 35 acres. The weeds, you can see the weeds got out of control from the recent rains. We got the bull, net, bull nettle, all types of weeds. Sunflowers have all died. Need to spray all these locust, black locusts coming up and mesquites through here. This is where the pond fills up. It goes down and runs down to Packwood Creek. Yeah, way over there, there must be a dead cow because there's probably about 200 buzzards flying around. But it looks pretty good. There's a few grasses that sprouted. When we seeded, we planted everything. We never, oh dang, I could use that. When we uh, seeded, it didn't rain for months and months and months. 
So the only thing that came up was uh, weeds. But since the past few rains, we have started getting uh, some grasses coming up. See that little spot right there? Some of the grasses have come up from uh, all the rain. We got about uh, almost two inches the past couple weeks, but the past couple rains, it's only been a quarter. So mostly out there is all weeds, but you can see right at that area, or dark green, they had some grasses that come up. And on the other side of the pond was a, uh, a pipeline mix we put out. It had nine variety of uh, grasses, and they've done much better over there. There's lots of grasses popping up. Well, I think we're about to do is uh, get some perennial rye. And we're getting a lot of erosion from the grasses that didn't come in. So we're going to go ahead and uh, spread the 35 acres with winter rye, get some grasses in there. You see some of the grasses come up here. They're about to seed. There's only a few spots, but this, these grasses are already here. Same thing up here, these native grasses. They're already there, but they're about to seed. So I'm not going to mow those till they seed out. This is where I clean up the pond right here. I want down a little bit because the cows had tore it up when they could come in here. So I've uh, cleaned it up, slanted it down. It was still too mucky for me to get right here. Actually, it's dry enough I can get the tractor and get this little corner out and clean this up. I might do that. But I think I'm going to do some, a little bit of fishing. Lots of frogs, lots of minnows. Try to get me a big old cat for uh, dinner. But uh, yeah, we're just mowing, trimming down these weeds that won't speak. So they won't seed out. And I do need to trim around the pond, but I'm getting pretty tired. Yeah, uh, didn't see any. When we pulled in, I saw some dove, but uh, I wanted to get to fishing because I was hoping to catch a big cat. So I didn't do any uh, dove hunting. You could tell uh, when I went out there to check on the uh, the barrel. A bunch of crows over there. Checked on the barrel. You could tell the hogs had been there this morning because the dirt was wet or they rutted it up. They look pretty, man. I'm gonna guess they're probably only 20 to 20 to 75 pounds. There's a lot of piglets with them. Lots of piglets. Lots of uh, baby tracks. But yeah, I threw seed out there also. And from where the hunting cabin is, about 50 feet out and about 200 feet, I uh, went ahead and uh, seeded out some oats right there. Kind of walk through the woods through here there are some uh fresh deer tracks and deer paths they're not the uh, cattle paths that are going through the woods because there are cattle back on the back 45 but i was glad to see uh deer tracks i went and checked on the feeder the, my feeder still has corn the raccoons haven't sabotaged it like they have three times I need to change up some stuff but i do want to get a uh Get, in a, get a feeder down there where that barrel is, but I'm going to have to fence it in so the cows don't tear it up, especially that bull. They like to eat that corn, even though it's not good for them. So I'll fence it off so they can't get to it. I actually put about 30 pounds of, 20 pounds of bird seed right here to feed all the birds. Of course, since I've been here, I haven't seen any, but the seed's all gone. You can tell the raccoons have eaten it, but... Uh, Got a lot of scissor tails, cardinals, all types of finch, all types of birds out here. It's been so hot and drought and got some uh, cool rains, grasses growing in, but I want to throw out some seed for the birds. But uh, I think I'm going to try to catch some catfish and uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.